so today I'm going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty Overachiever concealers. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Huda Beauty and every time she launches a product like I just get so excited like obviously I do receive her PR which I'm so grateful for but um Either way, I was always buying her stuff before I was on the PR list anyway, so I'm just a huge fan of her and her makeup. Although I do have to say, I'm kind of like, I'll talk about it in a bit, but anyways. Guys, I've been dying to try this concealer, like, I just hope it's good. I've heard good things about it on Instagram. For today's post notification shout out, it will be going to Kisha Tirbani. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. Ignore my brother running out around like an elephant in the house like he always does. If you guys want to get post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Or you can just leave a nice comment. I am so cold today. It's raining outside and I'm definitely starting to feel the cold. I don't mind it but I definitely need some new socks, some new slippers and some new PJs. Okay, and new jumpers as well. By the way, this jumper is from Chiquel. I actually have a little try on haul from them in a vlog that's, that will be up soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. So this is what the concealer looks like. It comes in a 10ml little tube. These will be retailing for £23. So just comparing to Tarte Shape Tape, the, um, you get... Oh wait, you get 10ml in Tarte Shape Tape and it's around the same price. Okay, so 10ml is fine. To be honest, when I do reviews, like I try to like talk about, like pinpoint everything out and really you know, give it a fair review. I always try my best to do that. And yes, I am a big fan of her products, but nevertheless, I'll still give a fair review. If it's not good, it's not good, guys. I'm gonna tell you, okay? Also, you can see for yourselves if it's good. And I will be testing it out throughout today. So we're gonna see how it's gonna look by the end of the day. So I have a little leaflet here. It says it's 31% pure pigment and skincare active, such as Albizia green tea. Jericho, I don't know what the hell those are. Overachiever not only conceals but soothes and protects the delicate skin around the eyes. It also has a luxurious Zamac tip to help instantly soothe and depuff as you apply, which leaves you looking bright and refreshed and awake. Available in 20 creamy high coverage shades. High coverage. I also did get a sponge and a little brush, but I think today I'm gonna try the sponge because I always use a sponge to clean, um, to clean to blend my concealer, so we might as well do that. Okay, let's roll, let's roll the montage. the swatches I know that caramel corn is my shade um, there is quite a big jump between peanut butter I think it's peanut butter between peanut butter and salted caramel I think you know there's quite a big jump you've got from whipped cream to chocolate chip I think it's a good range I do feel like they could be more like olivey medium like brown shades if you look on this shape chart right here you could say this is your fair light medium dark i think this is a good shade range for concealer um there are concealers out there that have many more shades and there's always room for improvement 
um, but I think for launch this is a good shade range like everyone's catered to so I'm gonna be using her primer so this is her complexion primer um, this is really good if you have like dry skin it's very hydrating but some people don't like it because of the scent and it is quite a heavy primer so that's why I say like it's best for I would say normal to dry skin very thick not a lot of people like this but I think it's okay it's not my favorite primer I just have to mention that I was going to talk about the scent I'm a little bit tired of the scent like it is really overwhelming sometimes I mean my skin doesn't who's whistling what the hell my skin doesn't really react to the scent I have really I don't have really sensitive skin so I can put anything on it um, but if you do have sensitive skin just bear that in mind all of her products has that scent like every single base product even the powder has a scent which is weird but I feel like after watching their series on Facebook they kind of like that scent like Mona is a huge fan of perfumes so maybe they wanted to, to have that scent you know like kind of like Dior and um, why sell makeup they have that particular scent to their makeup so I think she was trying to go for that um, which is fine I mean it's okay but I think it's quite overwhelming sometimes and that's just my opinion okay so I'm gonna use my foundation I use the faux filter in brown sugar I really do like this foundation though I'm also gonna be using her sponge she has this kind of slanted flat semi flat semi rounded sponge I don't even know I'm actually quite surprised by the um, softness of it. It's not like the Beauty Blender though, because Beauty Blenders are like soft to the core. Whilst this, once you press it, you feel like hardness, but you know, it's still quite bouncy on the skin, which I really like. I feel like I would like this sponge. It's quite similar to the Real Techniques one. Isn't that a good match? <laughs> Some, like during summer, it was definitely too pale for me. But now, because I'm starting to get pale again, it's working fine. In some areas of my face, it's still quite a bit pale actually. Yeah, the sponge is definitely not as soft as the Beauty Blender for sure. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to use a caramel corn. Okay, I really do like the, it's definitely something new and I haven't tried anything like this, but you know the tip, it's kind of like a cold metal tip and it really does, I like that cold feeling like in the morning, it's definitely a cold feeling and when I wake up in the morning, I, I kind of like that, like it kind of just wakes you up a little bit and it also claims to deep path and, you know, brighten the eyes or whatnot, so yeah, I kind of like that. I'm just gonna blend it out with a sponge. It's definitely a sticky concealer. I mean, I mean. Just look at that look how that brightened I actually do have quite a bit of pigmentation on my eyes mm. I am very pleased with that I mean you can just see for yourself that covered so nice doesn't feel heavy feels slightly sticky that's the only thing I can notice right now let me just do it on the other side as well very happy with the shade as well okay I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder and I use the shade Blondie um, sometimes I go with Kanafa, it just depends on my mood. Sometimes I mix the two 
But yeah, I really do like bow shades, but most of the time I kind of go for blondie because I like that extra highlighted under eye look. Um, in my review video, it did look ashy compared to Kanafa, but I don't know, like when I've been using it more and more, I've just been liking it more and more. It doesn't really look ashy. Maybe sometimes there can be some flashback in photos um, using blondie on me. Um, so yeah, it really depends, like guys, if you want to take the risk. I've been using this powder every day though, I really do do like it, but I don't really bake with it, I just kind of like set with this one. Whilst with Kunafa I can bake. Sometimes I bake with this one, but that's when I realise I see flashback in photos when I go out and stuff, so I just set it like this and it works fine. Okay, so this is what the base is looking like so far. Um, I think it looks really good. No creasing. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I'm back. I did my makeup. I am loving this lip. I'm using the Huda Beauty Demi Matte in Lady Boss. This is a beautiful colour. They're super comfy. Like, honestly, these are so good. But, um... I'm actually quite happy with the concealer guys and also the foundation looks quite good you know because I went I went in daylight and it kind of looks too warm for my skin but you know it's still a good match um so yeah it don't it doesn't it's not too light for me and I did bronze up my skin quite well so it's quite a good match I would say I'm quite pale on my decolletage area okay now back onto the concealer i'm definitely happy with caramel corn i think if you are like an nc42 um you can go for toasted almond or granola if you want extra highlight and if you're more on the nc45 shade then i would definitely recommend peanut butter or salted um, um salted caramel um but for me i'm more like nc43 so i'm using caramel corn it's really hard for me to talk about the lighter and deeper shades because you know I, I don't really have much experience myself with them so I can't really compare it to other shades but hopefully the swatches do help so yeah I'm quite happy with the shade range the price is comparing to other brands is okay I mean uh, Tarte Shape takes £22 and this is 23 same amount the only thing I do have to say about the concealer is that it's sticky when you apply it like you can literally feel the sponge sticking to it but then once you blend the concealer out and set it it, it feels nice like it doesn't feel heavy like I really do like this like I just like my makeup overall today like I even used the desert dust pie on my eyes I just did I didn't even put eye primer okay guys this is just a quick eye look I don't know let me know what you guys think about the concealer I'm quite happy with it um the coverage is amazing um blends really easy sets easy it's not gathering in any like places under my eyes let me double check I feel like the coverage is very similar to Tarte Shape Tape, but then the formula isn't. It definitely has that scent and it definitely feels sticky. Some may think it's quite of a heavy concealer because when you feel it, it's definitely more heavier compared to Tarte Shape Tape. It's definitely packed with pigment. Like I'm quite happy with the with the pigmentation, the blendability. Um, the only thing I have to say is the scent. I'm quite tired of the scent and the stickiness of it, which kind of goes afterwards. Now the real question is, is how long this is going to wear for. It's currently 9 at 12 a.m. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. Probably around till 4-ish. I'm really curious to see what this will look like. Um, but so far I'm very happy with this whole look, this whole under eye situation, the foundation. Everything's really nice. So we're going to put this to the test. We're also going to put the foundation to test again and see how everything's going to hold up. Um, I haven't touched my Huda Beauty for months now because obviously in summer I could not wear this. So we're gonna see how it is and yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop blabbering and I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, so it's now 6.22. I've had this concealer on for around 9 hours now. Like my mind's not even working anymore. But anyways, I did take my lip off because I was eating, you know, it was just like bugging me so I took it off. So um, just mind that. Um, Okay, so my base looks flawless still, like, it has come off on my nose, no smile lines, my skin looks soft. Now the concealer did crease on me, which I'm quite sad about, 
but not significantly but it has creased whilst my tart shape tape like I can wear for hours and my under eyes are intact um, it has there's a little bit of lines but yeah the oh, another thing is the kind of it's like the formula of the concealer absorbed so is there so much noise around me it's kind of like the formula of the concealer absorbed the powder and it became sticky like kind like slightly sticky and then when my lower lashes touch the concealer like it gives this kind of like cast i've realized that so i would definitely try baking next time when i'm going to use this concealer well the this creasing is not significant like i've had really bad creasing trust me okay because i have these weird lines under my eyes probably we all do but sometimes concealers gather in those lines but this one hasn't done that it's just creased a little bit it's just a quick close-up can kind of see creasing the foundation looks good though but yeah the under eyes creased a little is that going to stop me from using the foundation no i'm quite happy with the pigmentation of it the way it blends um i have been wearing this fan uh, this concealer for nine hours over nine hours now almost so i think it's held up pretty well I'm still happy with the way my face looks. I just still like how it covered and just made my under eyes flawless and stayed like that the whole day. Is there gonna be creasing? Yes, but I have to give it another go with baking and then I'll try and update the info box if I can, if I remember actually. <laughs> I think that's just something you have to take into consideration because it does have that wet kind of formula, in my opinion, that wet sticky formula. It's kind of similar to the NYX Scotcha Cover Concealer Formula, which I don't wear under my eyes because that one's very oily. This one is still wearable. Just bear in mind if you do have really deep set un um, under eye uh, lines, keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I do have to try it baking because maybe that's going to set it more in place. But yeah, after nine hours, guys, this is I'm quite happy with it. I'm really happy. It's not like Tarte Shade Tape, okay? So in my opinion it's not like that one but it's still another good concealer that i will keep on using i'm really happy with the shade as well i might actually try this for like the, with the darker shades to kind of like bronze up my skin and because it does have that really nice like dewiness to it so because if you look my under eyes are kind of dewy not everyone likes that and i've set my under eyes okay so anyways i think that's all i have to say i think i'll rate this maybe i think i'll rate a 7 out of 10 I think if you have really dry under eyes, this concealer will be perfect for you. Oh, and this concealer is uh, launching on October 8th and it should be on Cult Beauty, so I'll try to link it when it's out as well. Give this video a big like if you found this review helpful and let me know what other products you want me to review. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!